first thing I'm going to ask you to do is, you remember that song that we used to play? The dun -dun 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 yeah. Play that for me. Okay, good. So, what, what were the pattern, what's the pattern that you follow in that song? You skip, you do a second over here. Mm -hmm. Every time, and then right here, you go back one. one. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep So, what's the first note that you play on this hand, on your left hand? A C. Okay, so when you play the C, what notes do you play over here on the right hand? C, E, and G. Okay, C, E, and G. Now, what's the pattern over there? What? What's the pattern that your fingers are following over there? Well, you do these three, and then you skip over two, and three, and then you skip over three. Okay, so you're playing three. Yeah. Three notes on your right hand. Yeah. Okay, so do you know what it's called when you play three notes at a time like that? It's called a chord. Oh. So you've been playing chords this whole Wait, time. Wait, okay. okay. So now what's the pattern? So whenever you play a C over here on the left hand, what do you play over here on the right hand? You play C chord or something? Yeah, it's a C chord. It's a C, but what are the, what are the notes that you're playing? D, E, and G. Okay, but what's the pattern? How did you know that those were the three notes you needed to play whenever you play a C chord? Because, uh oh, it's you skip one mm -hmm. and then you skip another one. Okay, so what's the chord you play when you play with the A on that side? You play A on with this hand. Uh -huh. Right, that one. You're skipping every other note, right? Yeah. Okay, and now what do you do whenever you play an F with your left hand? Well, it's a G, but close. Oh, wait, yeah. wait. Good, so that's the F, and now we have a G. Good, so you've been playing chords this whole time. So let's write down oh. the chords that you've already been playing. So that first one you played, we're gonna write right here, was a C. That second one, here, play the second one you played. A. a. Only we're gonna call it like this. So it has that little that little letter beside it. Oh, uh, yeah, like A M. What do you think that little letter means? Minor. Yeah, minor. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, now what's the next note you played? F. So you know how to play an F, and then what's the next one you played? G. All right, so you know how to play a G. So those are chords. Okay, so what's a what's a so if you were gonna teach someone how to do it, what's a good trick? Whenever you play whatever note you play with your left hand, what's the notes that you play with your right hand? You whatever note you play on this hand, you do a chord of it. Um, but what's the chord? How do you know what's what? How do you know which uh, note to play with your thumb? It's the same over there. It's the same way. over there. Good. So anytime you play a chord, whichever uh, note you play with your thumb, it's going to be the same note as what you're playing over there on the bass. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So your thumb and your left hand match up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at this song you picked out. So just looking at it, are there any are there any of these chords that you already know how to play? Mm -hmm. A, F. And I don't see. Is that it? Okay, well, what's that one? What is that one? E minor. E minor. How do you think you would play an E minor? What tells you to play that? Perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's an E minor. See, it's the same Wait, pattern. You just. Is this or this? What did you play the first time? Is it just this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and that you can add that. So any you can always add the bass notes too. So then that's good. So it followed the same pattern, right? So you know how to play an E minor now. Okay, so knowing that, knowing you know how to play chords, so you, you've obviously heard the song before, how would you play that if I told you, hey, play this song for me? Uh, you would play these chords, but like in the tune of the song. Okay, so try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it sound right? Because it's not like, like I can't, I didn't add any other stuff. Like okay, well how would you add the other stuff with your other hand? Like you did for that first song you played. How would you add something? Yeah, but I also have to do like, like the tune of the song. 
Sorry. You know, we'll get used to playing the chords first, though. Get used to make sure you know where your hands go and everything. Cause you're playing it right. That's just what the sheet looks like. That's the same thing you've been playing though. Uh. All right, so you got the pattern down. Now think about whenever you hear that song on the radio, how does it start out? Like, what does it sound like? Oh yeah. You know what it sounds like? Yeah. So do you think you could play it like that? Just the same notes, but with that tempo? Maybe. Now, did you notice something sounded weird? Yeah. How, what, what sounded weird in that? That sounded different from the thing? I think I didn't do enough of these. No, you did those right. So, uh... That one. Does that sound like the like the song? No. What, how do you think you can make it sound more like the song? What sounds different about that? It's like, oh! Aha! Ah, there you go. It's too ah. high. Okay, well, you're just playing with one hand, so now what would you do if you wanted to play with two hands? Um, wait, could I do like this? Wait. If you want to. Would that be sound good? It might. But to start out, how, remember how we played that first song? Just remember how you just playing one note? One? Try that, see what that sounds like. you this. Oh my god. It sounds kind of choppy, doesn't it? It's kind of like, dum, dum, dum. What yes. if you, what if there's a way where you held one of the notes down the whole time and you chopped up the other ones to make it kind of flow? Could I have done this? Oh, this one. Do you want to try that? Yeah. You can always try that if you want to. You can always blend it. That is so cool. Yeah, that is cool. Just like it. Yeah. That wasn't too hard, was it? No. You just need to know what it looked like. Wow. Okay, so let's look at all the chords you know. So now you know this, you know this, you know this, you know this, you know this. Um, okay, now let's think about something. Why do you think that this has a minor? Why do you think that's a minor whenever sometimes there's just a normal A up there? What makes one of them a minor and one of them just a normal A? How do you think you could change it? So that's an A minor. What if, what if I wanted to change it and make it just a normal A? No A minor. How do you think I could change it? Yeah. You're close. You lifted up one of the fingers. So we know that one note has to say the same. You know that A has to say the same because it's an A. But one of the notes has got to be different. Which note do you think you would change? What if I did like all four of them? Well, remember a chord just has those three notes. 
I change one of them? Mm-hmm. To make it a major instead of a minor. Just play around with it. <gasps> Perfect! Yeah. How did you do that? I just did a stroke. So which finger changed? The middle one. The middle one. So any time, oh. that's all that changes. Any time you go from... Wait, but like this one, would I do it here? Well, here, what are you playing? An F? Here, play the normal F. Okay, now you're... Remember, that one has the minor by it, so let's see, you just learned to A, so here, play the normal A for me again. Wait, oh! Ooh, the normal A minor? Normal A minor, mm -hmm. Remember, what finger do you, what pin do you start with? Oh, A minor, oh, sorry. So there's A minor, now play the A like you just learned. Mm -hmm. That's a normal A. <gasps> so now, so let's go, cool. let's go again, let's play the normal C, because you know how to play that one, right? How would you make it into a C minor? How would you do that? If the pattern still changes. Mm, that sounds kind of goofy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's so cool. So that's a C minor. You see how it sounds kind of different? The C minor is yeah. kind of spookier. So that's typically how it tends to be. The, the major is going to sound brighter, like, oh, and then that minor sounds kind of. So this is a C minor? Mm hmm And then this is a C. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have the letter, then yeah, it just means it's a C major. Okay. Okay, cool. So now you've learned more things. So now let's move on from this, because this was an easy song. You got that really, really quick. So now we're going to try something different with some different chords. Okay. Do you know this song? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> of course! Okay, well now, let's go through and see what, what chords we already know. Because some of them are the same. B. I don't know that. You don't know that one? Okay. B minor. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. Uh, we'll pick out the ones you do know. Which oh, ones have we gone over? Um, G, C, A minor. Yeah, E minor. Yeah, you know That's that one. All. So, what are the two that you didn't know? Which one? D and B minor. Okay, D and B minor. Well, how do you think you would play a D? Play it for me. Okay, so that's the normal pattern, right? A D. Wait, oh. <gasps> that's brighter. So which one do you think is the minor? Which one's the major? Major, minor. Not quite. Really? Uh-huh. Try it again. Minor, major. Oh, because this is the regular D, so this is the major. And this is the minor. Yep, you got it right. So, so now you know... Your normal D, D right? Because where's your third? Where's your third finger on that normal D? On the normal D? Mhm. Mm right here. Right there, right. The F sharp. So that's your normal D, and then now play that D minor. Good. That's so now you know this. Spooky. Mhm. Mm okay. So now what's what's the other one we don't know? D minor. Okay. How do you think you would play that one? This one might be a little bit different. That one's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. None of them sound normal. Spooky. They both sound spooky. Maybe it's not, so we know that your, your thumb is right because it's on the B. Maybe it's not your third finger you need to look at. Maybe you need to think about a different finger that you need to move in a different spot. <gasps> Ooh, play that. So I'll give you a hint. So for for the B, yeah, your pinky always stays up there, whether it's a minor or major, like you're playing it. Oh, and this moves. Like right, because your middle finger moves for the. Mm -hmm. So which one's the major? Which one's the minor? major so now you know both of those so major sounds more joyful and minor sounds more spooky exactly okay, that's how you can kind of tell the difference okay okay so let's do this so we got now we know our b minor you know it's our normal b okay so now oh you good excuse me <laughs> so now how about you go through and just play all the chords that you know now okay, just play uh, what you know Good. That was a G. I feel like that. Mm -hmm. I thought that sounded right. Don't worry about the song. 
Just play the chords that you know. Just one more. Good. A D or a D minor? Oh, wait. Is that right? It sounds great, yeah. Okay, uh, E. So tell me whenever you feel good about all the chords. Like, you feel like you know them all really well. Okay, I think you do. You think you know them? Okay, do you want to try and play it like the song? It doesn't have to sound just like it, but just, you know, to the right tempo of it. Let's take a pause. So first we need to look at the difference between this chord and the one before. So let's look. What's the difference between the way the chords are written on here and then this other sheet we looked at? Uh, What's one difference in the song? slower but what do you mean by difference well just what's some differences between it this one starts with minor mm -hmm. so how about the number of chords how many number of chords are in the first one versus the second one we did oh this has a bunch more chords has a bunch more have it. much right okay so that one it, it almost it followed the same pattern every time there's just those four chords over and over. So now look at the new one that we're working on. Oh, it has like a bunch of different a bunch stuff of different ones. going on. Okay. So let's think about where where the, because look, we have a bunch more chords. Look at where they're placed on top of the words. What do you think? Do you think it has, it matters just that they're in the same order? Or do you think where it is on top of the words matters? Where it is on top of the words. Okay, so what do you think that means? Whenever... Like, you have to play it whenever you sing that part, or whatever. Right, so whenever you get to the word, that's whenever you move on to the next chord. So try practicing it that way. Try only playing the chord whenever you get to that word. Something weird about that. Wait. Mm -hmm, good. Right? You played the minor instead of the major. Mm. 